So this is going to be a video about Subaru's AVLS system and modifying it. So the way Subaru's AVLS works on the EJ single overhead cams from about 2006 through 2010 through 12, depending on the models, um, basically there's a couple of pins in the intake uh, rocker arm that controls one of the two intake rockers and adjusts the amount of depression onto that valve spring for that particular rocker arm, whereas in the other one is just managed directly to the cam and doesn't have any adjustment to it uh, and will press down the standard way based on how much the cam lobe. Uh, but this guy actually has, you can see these two pieces here where one is sort of a small amount of press on the valve so it slightly opens the valve but then when oil pressure kicks in uh, from the solenoid at higher RPMs this little pin on the inside over here pushes this this larger pin here into this spring-loaded pin cavity which only fills up a little bit but sticks out most of the time and it links these two bars so that you get a full depression then basically you can see it'll move which lobe of the cam is being used uh, it'll have a full depression of that particular valve to basically increase the air fuel mixture coming in from the intake valve there um, so what we're going to do though is the thing about this is most of the time when you're running it, it's just a small small press in and it's it's not as, as full uh, so one of the theories uh, we're getting theoretical here is that this actually contributes to a bit of unburnt unburnt fuel and therefore additional carbon buildup um, maybe slightly running rich as a result and part of the problem with of course additional carbon buildup from running a tad bit rich is you get additional carbon building up uh, not only on the valve stems but more critically on the scraper rings within the pistons um, and once those scraper rings get carbon build up on it it can block the holes that help drain oil out uh, from the combustion chamber at least from from the cylinder back down into the crankcase uh, and when those drain holes don't work so well you get a small oil burn that is pretty consistent and can result in uh, a buildup of you know it could be one or two or more liters over a 5,000 click oil change so it can get pretty severe when they get a lot of carbon building up so anything anything that, that causes that carbon buildup is, is not good so what we want to actually do here in the we're not it's not that we don't like fuel economy I mean obviously economical cars saving fuel is a great thing but what we want to do here is you know increase the longevity of our Subaru engine in the same manner that the the pre AVLS Subaru EJs were which had just solid lifters uh, and and you know a solid amount the same amount of lift uh, or depression of the valve spring for the intake cams on both of the lobes. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to take this rocker arm out, we're going to remove all these these two pins, we'll leave this inner one in because we don't need it, and we're, we're actually in order to lock this guy in permanently we're going to we're going to reverse the action here such that the long pin is actually going to be seated in this inner bit and the shorter spring-loaded pin is going to be moved to the outside so that it's just holding these other two pins in place to keep them from moving back and forth and what that will do is that will then allow us to turn when we when the cam turns it's going to depress these springs fully instead of just partially for the AVLS so it'll essentially keep the AVLS at a full plunger <laughs> position as with the regular rocker one and the reason these guys have got super big clearances by the way is because this head uh, has some bent valves so that's one of the repairs we'll be making but um, just as an aside when you go gosh that's a lot of clearance yes it is uh, anyway so we're going to take this off and i'll show you what these guys look like 